Hi, IASvideos.com is presenting you simplified daily current affairs analysis. Unjoined dots of a scheme. The challenge for the Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana is to evolve complex regulation. What is PMJAY? What are the challenges for the successful implementation of PMJAY? What should be done for the success of Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana? GS Paper 2 Welfare schemes for vulnerable sections of the population by the centre and the states and the performance of these schemes. In this video, you can find detailed answers for all the above questions. The above article has been retrieved from indianexpress.com, dated October 8, 2018. What we are providing here is just a 10% sample out of the full-length video. Visit our website iasvideos.com to join the course and to unlock all videos. We offer this pen drive course cash on delivery on Amazon.in too. Amazon will deliver our course to your doorstep. What is the context about? The Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana has now been launched. Now the focus has been shifted from policy guidelines to implementation. A functioning health insurance system must ensure that patients neither undertreated nor overtreated nor overcharged. The challenge for the Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana is to evolve complex regulation that covers industry practices, the police and the codes. What is PMJAY? PMJAY is the second tier of Ayushman Bharat, a two-tier scheme. It will provide insurance of Rs 5 lakh per family per year for inpatient secondary and tertiary treatment. It supplements the first tier of Ayushman Bharat, which looks to focus on preventive through its 1,50,000 health and wellness centers. Over 70% of the health expenditure in India is privately financed and more than 62% is direct out-of-pocket expenses by patients, which has kept out the poor from availing the basic necessity of a dignified life. The scheme will cover bottom 40% of the country's population, thus ending the deprivation. What are the challenges for the successful implementation of PMJAY? The success of PMJAY requires adaptive price setting, third-party monitoring, strict regulation and quality improvements in public sector hospitals. Pricing Getting prices right is an almost impossible problem. Prices need to fulfill the dual function of ensuring neither too much nor too little. Price A service too low and the hospital will either choose not to enroll in the scheme or will deny services, price too high and the hospital makes additional profits, or worse, provides additional services that patients don't need. Third-party monitoring One of the trickiest problems in the Rashtriya Swasthya Bhima Yojana was denial of services. A second problem is top-up pricing. Hospitals can increase prices of services and force patients to pay out of pocket. Subsidies to providers are shared among the provider and the consumer depending on demand and supply elasticities. Grievance redress and call centers as envisaged in PMJAY may prove useful but only if they can immediately influence the outcome for a patient. What should be done for the success of Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana? Regulation and Insurance Fraud In tandem, PMJAY will require creating a strong regulatory framework for fraud control, the current regulatory framework has no established procedure for settlement of claims, redress of consumer behavior against the rejection of claims, or even penalties for rejecting claims in violation of existing regulations. This, in turn, creates incentives for regular violation of norms by insurance companies. Proving Government Hospitals Finally, there is no getting around the critical need to strengthen government hospitals. In the long run, well-functioning public hospitals will provide a much-needed backstop against predatory practices, denial of service and overcharging in the private sector, making sure that the scheme's resources can be used in government as well as private hospitals to improve quality is crucial. Why the success of PMJAY is not only dependent on functioning of the health department but also the criminal justice and court systems. The current regulatory framework has no established procedure for settlement of claims, redress of consumer behavior against the rejection of claims, or even penalties for rejection claims in violation of existing regulations. This in turn creates incentives for regular violation of norms by insurance companies. 
Not surprisingly, the complaint rate in India is orders of magnitude higher than comparable jurisdictions across the globe. The success of PMJAY is now intrinsically tied not only to the functioning of the health department but also the criminal justice and court systems. The implementation of a stronger legislative framework for regulation and insurance fraud is urgently needed.